Okay. Um. So this is a guitar test tape, and I'm actually not in my home studio. I'm actually on my couch watching TV. However, in this episode of Show and Tell, I've decided to show you the next tar NXP right here. Um, it's the NXP Universal Expression Pedal. And believe it or not, um, this is um, an expression pedal. Um, and what's great about it is it works with just about anything. But what's even better is the price. And um, the price is basically nineteen ninety five with free shipping. So basically a twenty dollar expression pedal. Keep in mind there are expression pedals, you know, that go up into the hundreds of dollars, believe it or not. So let's see what you get for that twenty dollars. And here's the unboxing. So no instructions or anything, but here, wrapped in plastic, is, is the expression pedal, and it, it's, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap, you know, and here it is, and you'll see Kind of like a wah pedal or volume pedal. Right there. Nice thing is you get a cable included with it. You know, uh, it's a six foot cable. And right here it does, um, it's, it's hardwired in. So I guess that would be the only thing some people complain about. But for 20 bucks, I mean, you know, whoop de doo as long as it works. That's what I'm concerned about. And what's nice is here you have, here you have a, a switch on the bottom here. And what that does um, is basically the polarity of it. You know, and that's why it's a universal. Uh, you know, whether you want it to basically start from maximum to minimum. And here, um, on the side, you've got the switch here, and you can change the, uh, how much it basically opens and closes and that kind of thing. Okay, and I'm real excited about these because um, expression pedals is not something I would usually use, to be quite honest. One, they were so expensive, you know? It's like, gosh. I don't know if I want to spend, you know, $136 for an expression pedal. Uh, $20, and that's more like it. Um, in fact, I got, I got two of these. Um, and they're very interesting because, you know, with, with my uh, Eventide pedals, for example, the H9, right, pedal. Oh, yeah. Well, with that alone, um, you know, you can have it controlled just about any parameters from simple volume to delay times, number of repeats on a delay, um, drive on a distortion, so on and so on, or a combination of that, you know. <coughs> if your pedals can send continuous controller messages. And so then it can be sent to the expression pedal, which would control, you know, sound. Or, for example, the whammy pedal, you know, that goes up in pitch, right? When this expression pedal can be made to, to do that, you know, on its own it doesn't do anything. It's just, but it's a controller. Uh, it's equivalent of like a mouse for a PC, for example. So anyway, um... I highly recommend it. I mean, for twenty bucks, 
and we'll see how it works out and how long it's used. You know, now keep in mind it's it's plastic, so I suppose you could abuse it and break it. You know, so you have to be somewhat careful with it. You know, but I'd much rather have to replace a twenty dollar pedal than I would a hundred thirty six dollar pedal. All right. So anyway, something to consider. See you next time. Bye.